Hi, this is Ron Jones from Lean Berets, and we're in beautiful Southern California, and I'm here with my great friend and colleague, Philippe Till. We're talking about George Hubert's natural method and the value of outdoor education for children, but specifically in this video clip, Philippe, I'm going to ask about risk-taking, uh, because that's something that's kind of vanished from our culture here in the United States. What are the values of risk-taking for children learning through an outdoor educational experience such as where we're at today with all these boulders and trails and trees and uh, what looks to be dangerous, however, we're learning how to move better, so we're actually learning how to move safer. You know, it's a very interesting topic because I have witnessed it myself with my own eyes with uh, other parents stifling their children's abilities as and especially with children who are naturally inclined to want to move and just go climb and do what's quote unquote unsafe and at the same time I've seen the children who are the more sedentary types who need to be pushed but they're not because again people think oh it's not what you naturally do now there's always going to be different set of abilities and skills and drive based on children some are more academic so therefore they need to work on that physical imbalance in developing that skill and those who are naturally academic I mean naturally physical need to be honed in and refined in their skills in order for them to be able to push beyond that natural instinct where talent meets hard work and whether this is in an environment like this which looks obviously dangerous to any parent because they see big rocks and holes and cliffs and, and poison oak and all that stuff and the same attitude is brought to a playground outdoors which doesn't necessarily have any supportive mats like a center for gymnastics for instance and I will say that the only risk is to not take one and risks are always mitigated if you think of a gymnast or a stuntman about to perform something all safety measures are taken you consider the element of something bad can happen and you do everything in your power for it not to happen and that comes from obviously training now I've posted videos of my six-year-old son uh, who was about three years old at a time jumping from two to three times his height and I got some slack from it from, from other parents but they don't know the story behind it he's been doing that since he was of walking age and he gradually develops that spatial awareness that he knows what he can or cannot do. When he's afraid here, he'll ask me, hey, can you help me? Mm -hmm. But then when he says, no, I'm going to do it, I know that he has already assessed right. that proprioception, that distance, that visual acuity to have the precision to land where he wants to land. And that comes from training. There's no such thing as doing a little bit of something. There are no hacks. Um, I posted that in my uh, hashtag fit minute recently where I was uh, ranting against people saying 45 minutes a week is all you need for exercise. Not only is it bad for you, but you're never going to get to anything with just 45 minutes a week. Uh, you need work, you need to put in the time, and it's just good for you to move every day. Right. That's how you develop those skills. It's like me training somebody once a month or like going on a diet by eating one salad a week. <laughs> nothing's gonna nothing's gonna come out of that and you know the the skills that look difficult for you and are performed seemingly easily by somebody else ie a child who naturally is, wants to do that that still comes from a repetition from an education from whole process behind it don't judge the movement um, Picasso was once at a, um, a restaurant and the restaurant owner came up to him and said could you draw a picture of me? And Picasso said, sure. And he went, and like five strokes, he drew the, the restaurant owner and said, here, that'll be a million dollars. And the guy goes, a million dollars? It took you 30 seconds to draw this. And Picasso said, no, it took me 65 years to draw this. <laughs> That's a great story. Yeah.